Welcome to TechWiz with Dom Harry. In this video, we are going to learn how to send newly created file from Blob Story to the email in Azure Logic Apps. So you can read this title in another different way, how to email file from Azure Blob Storage by using Azure Logic Apps. So this is one of the scenario I was creating actually with Azure Data Factory where I needed to send the file after creating in a log folder or a, you know newly log file uh, newly created a file in the log folder was supposed to send to some email and uh, i was thinking like uh, how to do that then i end up uh, uh, using uh, logic apps and i said okay let me do that so i don't have to embed this part into the azure data factory i can create totally separate azure logic apps and the workflow and the what happened then once the file is created in the folder it will be sent to the email so let's take a look how it can be done now what we are here we are here in the portal and i'm going to create two things first of all i'm going to create a storage account where we will upload the file so i'm going to go ahead and call it storage and let's call this storage select the subscription select the resource group and then uh, select the storage. So I'm going to call it Amir storage. So East US is fine. Create. Now let's go to the home again and uh, we are going to go ahead and create a logic app. So click on logic apps here, add. And then uh, what we are going to do here, we are going to select the resource group and select consumption and provide the name. So Amir logic apps okay so north america east us yes that's what we want create hit create our resources are right here let's go to resource and uh, we have logic apps right there uh, logic apps designer just open right there and our uh, story should be ready as well let's go to the tech resource group and here uh, we have storage in the storage uh, i would like to create a container and i'm going to name this container uh, input container that's the click on import and here what we'll do create looks good that's where we will be uploading the file and once the file is uploaded here and email should be sent and uh, then uh, uh, that file should be sent as attachment so that's good let's go to the logic app and uh, create a workflow so we are here in the designer and uh, first of all I need to go to the blank logic app I'm gonna click right there and what I'm looking for, I'm looking for something where if the blob is created, so I am typing blob here and I found Azure blob storage. Click right there and see what it says when a blob is created, added or modified. Okay, so that's what I'm going to use. And here I will be providing a connection name. So in this case, what I can do, I can pretty much use, uh, let me open the portal one more time and uh, I can. I can keep using the same name so let me see so in this case i'm going to use the same name what is my storage name i'm going to copy this guy go back to the designer and provide the name here access key and it has asked you hey what is your storage account name so i provided the same name same as connection now it is asking me provide me the key so i'm going to go to the storage right there and access keys and show keys i'm going to copy to the clipboard and go back here and provide now this is going to go ahead and create this connection and uh, then let's see what it asks it is asking me hey storage account name so i click right there and it took that name use connection string yes that's what you need to use and uh, it is asking container name and my container name is the input. I'm going to leave this number of blobs to the return 10 is fine. And how often you would like to run. I can do two minutes, three minutes, whatever. And that's it. Now we are done here. Second part. Now this is going to work just fine. Now what we need to do, we need to get the content, blob content once it's created. So this is a mechanist connection there. And now next part is we are going to get the content. Right here, I'm going to go ahead and say blob content and let's see if what it will give me so it got me this guy get uh, blob contents and i'm going to click right there it's asking me your storage account name i just pasted it there okay so we are good there and uh, then it is asking you or you can use the connection if you want uh, the same you know so use connection settings so it is going to get that storage account name so blob provide the blob right so here I don't have any blob or anything like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get 
the list of file paths so that's what I'm gonna get a list of file paths once I have that this is gonna get me that blog content right now I have that now next step is gonna be sending that so output and in the output sorry not output outlook because I need to email go to the outlook.com and if you're using uh, Office, then you will be using Outlook 365. In my case, uh, I am using uh, my private uh, email. So we are looking for send email to, see right there. Okay, sign in. So provide the username and password, whatever you have to. So in my case, I'm using my Outlook username. And once I'm logged in, uh, it's asking me, hey, where you would like to send an email? I'm gonna say, oh, I'm here, ashsr 21196 at whatever my email is, outlook.com. And then uh, I'm going to do some uh, more sub uh, sub in the subject. A uh, new blob is created. Okay, so you can always uh, modify, make it more uh, kind of use the parameters or contents and get the file name and everything. But in my case, I'm just gonna be very uh, kind of um, you know hard <laughs> hard coded person here. Okay, now in the body, I'm gonna say, hey, uh, a new blob is created in Azure Blob Storage, uh, please find as attach. Okay, so that's what I wrote and I say thank you and I will say Tech Brothers IT LLC whatever. You know, see, just put your signature or whatever you want to do. Now you're gonna go to the add parameters and here you're gonna click on attachments uh, and then just click on the side. Once you do that, it's gonna pop up this part guy and it's asking hey attachment name so attachment name let's do that and here we see that uh, list of file names so that's gonna be our name uh, in the attachment right and then content in the content right there you're gonna click and say file content so that's uh, the attachment we would like to send so we are good here and uh, we should be saving this uh, work and once uh, our work is saved logic apps uh, completed so no error at all so a couple of ways to test it uh, one we just keep waiting for two minutes and uh, let it run another part is that uh, we can go ahead and click uh, run trigger and then run and then uh, we can keep go to the storage and here and we can upload the file so go to input and here upload file okay so i'm going to go ahead and upload the file and uh, we are going to select any file and the file is uploaded. So now, as uh, we were running, we can see what's gonna happen. Okay, so it got completed successfully. You can see right there, it is uh, everything is green. And uh, now I can go to my email and I can take a look. Here my blob is created. And that's the file that we just have put that, right? So it is showing you some contents right there. So just this was a one line. Now I don't have to go back and rerun every time. So I can just, uh, because it's scheduled to check every two minutes. And next time I'm gonna go ahead and just put the file there. Or uh, I can modify the file. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and upload the file. And let's do that. Let's upload this file. In this time, I'm going to put like, okay, package load to the Excel table, whatever. <laughs> you know, it's a DT. Uh, uh, let me do something like that. Uh, okay, this is my Excel file. It has no data, probably. So, but I'm going to go ahead and upload. The file has been uploaded. And now what we are going to do, we are going to wait. Uh, once the two minutes will be completed, an email will be in our uh, inbox with the file attached to it. So let's wait for it. A new email has been received and uh, I'm gonna check that and see my Excel file is right there. That's great. Uh, now, you see that every couple of minutes uh, as your uh, logic apps is gonna check uh, and uh, if uh, everything is great, it's gonna get us uh, uh, that uh, email. So you can see right there if you go to the overview and uh, you see right there, it's showing you the success. So it's gonna keep running and keep checking the files and keep sending you the files. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna test for multiple files. In this case, I'm going to upload the two files and let's see if I will receive both of the files in a single email. Uh, so right there, actually I can maybe do more, more than that. So let's do three or four files. 
the files has been uh, uploaded and let's wait for it and see what is the behavior in this case so an email has been received uh, let's click on the email and now what we see there uh, we see it is uh, it is sending us actually so it is sending us email for each of the file so still i have to figure it out uh, in case uh, uh, how to combine them together in one uh, uh, email so i don't know how to do that as of now but I w one day you know i will learn it and i will uh, show you guys or if you know how to do that just uh, write in the comments and uh, we can take from there so thank you very much for watching please go ahead and subscribe my channel and i will see you guys in the next video mm <clears throat>